Hey guys, it's Lauren. This is Books and Tea and All Things Me, and I am so glad that you are here today. Today I am dying to share with you a book haul, and this is my Black Friday book haul. This is the order that I put in on Book Outlet for their huge Black Friday sale. I had been eyeing a lot of these books for a very long time, but I kept hearing people say that Book Outlet does great Black Friday sales, and so I held off for a while and then I went crazy when <laughs> when Black Friday actually arrived. So I have a giant box and I can't wait to open it and I can't wait to see what's inside. I already know what's inside, but I kind of forgot already because it's been a little while and I wanted to open this earlier, but I've been sick. So if you could still hear a little bit of like nastiness in my voice, that is because I've been sick and I've been on the couch for the last like three days straight. So I'm like dying to open this. So let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, the first thing I'm seeing in here is the Lord of the Rings trilogy with the hobbit and these are a lot smaller than i was expecting i didn't know that these were the small ones but that's okay i saw this and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have never actually finished this series i read the hobbit when i was in middle school and then i started to read the fellowship of the rings the first book and i just could not get through i think it was just too much for my tiny middle school brain to grasp. So I really want to read these. This is one of my goals for 2016 is to read this series. And so when I saw it on there, I was really excited and I had to pick it up. So yay. The next book that I'm seeing is The Book of Ivy. And this is by Amy Ingle. And this is a book that I've heard a lot of people talking about lately because the second book in this duology, The Revolution of Ivy, just came out. And I've never read either of them. And they sound really interesting. I hear that people don't like the second book quite as well as they like this one. But overall, I've been hearing really, really great things about this duology. And I think it sounds super, super good. These next ones I'm really disappointed about because they are The Poison Princess and Endless Night and this is not the cover that it's supposed to be. It was supposed to be the cover that looks like this. So I'm kind of disappointed about that, but oh well. Um, I've heard really, really great things about this. I don't even know if it's a series or if it's a duology and it's just these two books. I don't know. But I've heard Jordan from the Jordan Journals talk about these books before and she said that they're really great and that she thinks that they need some more love in and that they're kind of underhyped. So this is by Cressley Cole and I, like I said, I don't really know anything about it but I'm really excited to get to these and yeah, I'm really bummed that these covers do not match. The next book I got is Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Rowell and I've been wanting to read this one for a really long time as well. I'm also a little bit disappointed because this one is not in very good shape. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but that's really dirty. But anyways, um, I hear so many praises about Rainbow Rowell and I have never read anything by her before. Actually, I'll take that back. I'm reading My True Love Gave to Me right now and I just read her short story and I loved it in that book. And so I'm really, really excited to explore some of her writing. This one, I'm not gonna be reading right away, but I know I will get to it at some point pretty soon, so I'm very excited. And the next book I got is another Rainbow Rowell, and it is Fangirl. And this one I did order as a scratch and dent, and it is kind of beat up, but that's okay. I expected that. This one I am going to be reading this month in the month of December, and I'm just so excited for this because I really, really wanna read Carry On, and I know that you can read Carry On without reading this one first, but I just wanna read this one first. I just do. So very, very, very excited for this and I cannot wait to get started. The next book that I got is Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo and I'm so excited about this one. Like so, so excited because I'm reading this series right now with Karen from A Simple Cup of Tea and we're going to be finishing it this month and I really wish that they had had all of these books because I just want the whole series, but I'll keep watching for them. I don't own any of the other ones yet, but I knew I wanted to own the whole trilogy, so I bought this and I cannot wait to read it. Like, cannot wait. The next two books I got 
are part of the Lux series. I have no idea what order these go in, but this one has Obsidian and Onyx in it, and this one has Opposition and Shadows, and these are by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have heard so many good things about this series. There's a couple people reading it right now, and I can't remember who it is, but they were like, why have I not read this sooner? And I feel like I just need to read these. And I've never read anything by Jennifer L. Armentrout either, and I just hear great, great, great things about her. And I think this is an alien kind of a story, so I'm really excited because that sounds awesome. The next book I got is Emerald Green, and this is by Kristen Gear, and this is the third book in the Ruby Red trilogy. I don't own any of these either, but I knew I wanted to own this series, and this is the only one that they had, so I decided to pick it up while it was really cheap, and I don't know anything about this either, really. I don't know. I don't know. So... But it's beautiful. Look at it. It's so beautiful. The next book I got was Strands of Bronze and Gold, and this is by Jane Nickerson. And this is a retelling of the Bluebeard fairy tale. And I've heard kind of mixed reviews about this one, but I really wanted to give this one a try. I think it is beautiful, and I think I would really like the story. So I don't know when I'll be reading this one, but I am very excited about it. Okay, two more books, guys. The second to the last one is Dreams of Gods and Monsters, and this is by Lainey Taylor, and this is the third book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I have not read any of these either, but I hear amazing things about them, and I want to collect this series as well. This seems to be kind of a trend that I'm buying the third book in a series when I don't have any of the other ones. But, you know, that's how it goes with Book Outlet. So you just gotta take what you can get and look for the other ones later. But this is huge. I cannot believe how big this is. So, yeah. I'll get to this one eventually. Don't know when, but I'm super excited. The last book that I got is The Bone Season, and this is by Samantha Shannon. And I don't know a whole lot about this either. I know this is part of a series. I know that there's at least one other book. I don't know if it's a duology or a trilogy or a series or if there are more books coming out. I don't know. Again, a trend that I don't seem to know much about these, but I've heard great things about this as well, and I think that this sounds pretty right up my alley. I, I don't remember. Ah, she's a clairvoyant. I remember that. So that's why I was interested in this. I can't wait to get to this. Don't know when it will happen, but sometime soon. So very excited. So these are all the books I got. This is a lot of books, you guys. I'm like shaking. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So that is all the books that I got during the huge Black Friday sale from Book Outlet. I am so excited about all of these. I am a little disappointed that a couple of these are not what I was expecting, but you know, whatever. So I would love to know if you guys bought anything for the big Black Friday sale. What did you get in your beautiful boxes and your beautiful shipments? And I would love to know if you've done an unhauling as well. So if you have, please link that down below because I will definitely go check it out. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I am going to try to go do some Christmas shopping despite still not feeling all that great, but I'm going to push through. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!